There's a rural elegance and charm to Wark to May House. Built 120 years ago, it's been home to two important Langley pioneer families, the Warks and the Dumay. It's a house full of life and stories. And today, it's part of the campus of Kwantlen Polytechnic University. For most of its life, it was a working dairy farm on Langley Prairie. Robert Wark came from Londonderry, Ireland when he was 16 years old to claim a land inheritance in 1890 from his uncle, Henry Wark, who managed the Hudson's Bay Company in Fort Langley. Robert built a small house for his parents and three brothers who arrived from Ireland the following year. Robert fell in love with music teacher Edith Kirkby. They married and started building a new house in 1895 from trees cut right on the property. Robert and Edith had six children, but as was common in the early 1900s, two died in infancy. Robert was successful as a farmer and one of the first people in Langley to drive a car. His daughters Mary and Dorothy hop aboard for a ride. This was a working farm, much of it done by hand, and horsepower. Robert Wark employed South Asians among the first to live and work in BC. One was named Doc, who lived in one of the farm buildings that the family called the Hindu Shack. Robert was active in the New Langley community. He became municipal clerk and later the first reeve, or mayor, from 1914 to 1918. He eventually worked with the provincial government. Here he is, on a steamer to Victoria, sending postcards home to his daughters. Edith suffered from severe lung problems. Eventually, she and the children moved to a drier climate in Southern California. The farm was bought by Albert Dumay in 1926. His family worked the land for the next 40 years. After being sold again in the 70s, the house eventually fell into disrepair and faced demolition. It was declared a heritage site, and the Langley Heritage Society began restoring the house in 1987. The Dumay family still visit the family farm to relive some childhood memories. One of the things we used to do in the yard here, uh, we, we created a little uh, zip line thing. We went from tree to tree, and we'd climb up one tree and and uh, jump in a box and let go and fly down to the next tree. It was kind of fun, but every time, every once in a while, there was a bit of a crash. Anyway, good fun for kids. Ernie also remembers learning to drive the tractor when he was just six years old. Okay, well, my, my father came to, uh, to British Columbia in 1906, and um, he was attracted to the area by, by his uncle, uh, Joseph Michaud, and um, Joseph had lots of property around that he was... Uh, in the area. My dad was apparently uh, excellent at clearing land. Dad bought the, um, the farm in uh, 19, 1926. Albert and his wife Cecile were among the first French Canadians in Langley. They raised four children and the farm became a successful dairy operation. Sadly, Albert died suddenly in 1952 while working in the barn. My mom, of course, was only 40 at that point, and uh, yeah, she uh, raised uh, the four children and ran the farm uh, with the contract farmers, of course, but there was still a lot of responsibility on, on, on her to uh, keep things going. Today, Wark de May House is surrounded by the Kwantlen campus. Its preservation honors more than a century of rural life in Langley. I like the idea because it is a legacy for my mom and dad. Um, their hard work at, uh, at maintaining the house and, and the farm property. As I've said before, it's our best hay field is uh, covered with asphalt now, and that's a little bit too bad, but it's the way it is, I guess. The dairy farm may be gone, but agriculture still lives at Kwantlen through its popular horticulture program. There is still the, 
the farming component uh, here, you know, at uh, Kwantlen Polytech University is uh, is a nice compromise, I guess, to uh, fields of hay and uh, oats and that sort of thing. Uh, at least we've got uh, students here that are, are learning about uh, about agriculture.